Cool. All right, what's up, everybody? BC, I'm here with Juan. He is the artist and the man responsible for all this new art on me. And I wanted to interview him because I'm going to start featuring some of the work that I'm doing on my channel. And of course, I always give credit where it's due. So, Juan, what's up, homie? Hey, Thanks for being here, dude. Uh, all right. Just real quick, introduce yourself, maybe give a little bit of your background, and then kind of lead us up to what got you into tattooing. All right. Uh, government name, Juan Rodriguez. Everybody knows me as Moen Chilo. Uh I got into artwork. From, if I can remember correctly, first grade, I drew a T-Rex on my friend Jose Escobedo's folder. After that day, been drawing ever since. Drawing, 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 been seeing tattoos. I saw uh, one of my cousins had some, and he had some amazing artwork. I always wanted to do it. So after that, flash forward uh, 2000 and. One, I think I, I got my first tattoo, started getting tattoos. Turns out the same cousin got out of prison and I, he saw that I had some tattoos. And I told him, I go, damn bro, that's, that looks slick. You know, I've been getting work too. And he's like, oh, I used to work. I used to do tattoos in prison, I'll show you. And I said, hell yeah, hell yeah, I wanna do that. Show me one time after that, I've been tattooing ever since. I, I loved it. If, if it involves artwork, either working on uh, Shoes, canvases, graphite, uh, freaking drawing on backpacks, whatever it is, I, I'm into it, I'm in it. I love it. That's what got me into it, bro. Awesome. So uh, it's, it's always kind of been in your system then, and tattooing now yes. is just allowing you to express it even more so, you can say, right? Uh, definitely. It's really, uh, it's almost flattering that somebody will let you carry your artwork on them. You know, and then when somebody takes pride in what they got from you, I mean, it just, it, it, it's just a phenomenal feeling. And pay the bills. Yeah, <laughs> pay the bills, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. because you're running your own business, man. And uh, so was it 2007 or eight that you told me that you started? Uh, to it was officially? around, uh, yeah, it was around 2007. Uh, I got, uh, shoot, my first tattoos until, I think it was 09. I went on vacation. And then uh, I was still working in there, yeah. honing my craft, and it's it was a, a kind of like a blessing in disguise because yeah. you know you got time to work on yourself in there. Yeah. You know, either reading, artwork. I had a, you know tons of free time now. Yeah. You know, tattooing in there as well. You know, I was getting paid like five twenty five a freaking month, a month, not not an hour, not a day, five dollars yeah. twenty five cents a month. So yeah, I'm a big boy. I gotta eat, so I had to learn how to hustle. That was still my hustle. Got out. I remember my probation officer was asking me, like, you know, what are your goals? And I told him, yeah, I want to have my own tattoo shop. Within five years, I, and he goes, that's, that's your five years old then. And, you know, glory to God, five years passed, and yeah, got me a shop, you know. Got to give props to, to uh, my fiance, soon be wife, Sarah. She uh, got this location for me. If it wasn't for her, uh, kick me on the ass to get this yeah. spot. Like, yeah. It, it, honestly, I give her ton of credit. Ton of credit. Oh yeah, definitely. She shaped me up. Oh yeah, no, big time. No, no. Shout out to Sarah, model success. It's <laughs> all big. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to ask you, as far as the artwork itself, is there a particular type of tattoo you love, and maybe is there a particular type of tattoo you hate? Uh, let's see. I love doing realism, black and gray. Yeah. Love it. As far as a uh, Hating, I wouldn't say much, so much as hating, but definitely like some tattoos are boring. Old school 90s tribal tattoos, boring, dude. Yeah, yeah. Really boring. Yeah. But like I love doing the, the Chicano style art, you know, the Raza. Uh, yeah. Any, uh, I guess, realism type, uh, type style. Of course, lettering as well, you know, typical LA Cholo shit, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that stuff right there. I love it. Love right, it. Right. So uh, I remember I had asked you off camera and you told me about 90% or more of the people that come to you are second timers. Yes. Right? Like they've yes. already had a tattoo before. Now yes. I've only been tattooing with you like a month and a half and I'm covered already. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, you you you, you went in it to win it, brother. Like I, you, you came here, you say, I've been wanting one forever. And I said, okay, he's gonna get one. It's gonna take his time. Hell no, I think what you were back like what, in a week? A week. 
Jesus, I was like, all right, dude. It, it kind of reminded me of me. I got my first one. Yeah. And then, like, you know, every check I got, boom, 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 boom. I was getting work done, work done, work done. It's because, you know, you love, if you love the art, yeah. you're going to get it. Absolutely. You're going to get it no matter what. Nothing's going to stop you from getting it. You know, people, my mom was talking shit to me, but I was like, I, I love it. I'm going to get it. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm sure it's people been hating on you. Like, say, you know, you, oh, you're getting a lot done too, too quick, too fast. You're addicted. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're addicted. Like, yeah. come on. Like, stop it. No, if, you, if you're passionate about it, you love it, yeah, you're going to do it. So. And that kind of leads me into my next question, man, is there is a lot of still negative stigma with it, but like if you're going to recommend to people who might be on the fence, should I get a tattoo? Should I not? What's maybe like the top two or three things you would tell them in regards to making that decision? Quite honestly, um, if you're really like debating too long, if I should get one for either job wise, mainly job wise, though it's far more socially acceptable now than it ever was, ever was. Everybody's pretty much tattooed, but you know, I tattooing, I do a lot of cover-ups. People don't take their time in thinking of what they're gonna get, you know. Some people, you know, they, oh, I want my girlfriend's name. Like, okay, cool, fucking, you know, he, he's been with her for like two months, and it's like, ah, damn, you know, I don't know until after I do that tattoo, then I'm covering it up. So it's yeah, like, yeah. take a, a lot of thought into what you're gonna get because it is it is gonna be there and you want to be proud of it for years to come for years to come so i would just really think about it you know especially with getting them like uh you know really a visible spot some people yeah. want like a face tattoo like as their first tattoo it's like no man come on don't feel breaks nah. but uh yeah just think about it think about it some more if you go to the shop saying i don't know what i want it's like you know then I don't think it's time for you to get tattooed. You gotta, you gotta be you know, set on it. Right. That's about it. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, so I guess the last thing I can ask you, man, is everyone's always asking about, does it hurt, does it not hurt? Um, so if anybody's gonna get the first one, is there any places maybe you recommend they don't get it, especially if they think their pain tolerance isn't high? If your pain tolerance isn't high, definitely don't come in drunk, cause that, you know, you're gonna be moving and then you're gonna be, you know, swerving. Some people pass out and it's yeah. like, nah, I won't tattoo you if you're you're drunk off your ass. But definitely if you want your first one, uh, you don't think you're gonna handle a pain, definitely don't go for like that stomach shot. Yeah. That's a pain in the ass, you know. Oh God. Shin, shin hurts, stomach, side ribs, those. Yeah. Some people have gotten them, their first ones here and they're, they're big pieces and yeah. they took it like champs. And it's like, damn, all right, that's cool. But if you're willing to do it and you think you can handle it, then go for it. But uh, definitely try to stay away from those, at least the stomach part. Cause I, I know that kills. That kills. Okay. Yeah, I mean, mine are in pretty visible places, but they didn't hurt too bad. But I, I know definitely here would hurt the feet, would hurt the hands. Cause when you got your chest up right in the sternum, yeah, I, yeah, uh, I, I, I saw you wake up on that one. Yeah, 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 a little bit. And you took the pain well, bro, like a yeah. champ, like a champ. So uh, we're obviously going to do another one, bro. This is just kind of the first one to introduce mm -hmm. you. Let's end it with you plugging your social media and anything else you want to plug in case anybody wants to hit you up and get their first tattoo. And I'll tell them that DC sent you. All right, yeah. BC, man with the master plan. Uh, I'm located right here in Pacoima, 13245 Paxton Street. Yeah, address sounds fake, but it's real. Uh, look at me at Instagram at FTF underscore tattoo. And uh, roll up. We're going to get to work. I'll put on a funny movie or a serious movie if you want so you can help you deal with the pain. Probably not try to be a funny movie because you'll be giggling. Had that uh, happen a few times, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does great work. I'll show you guys some pictures. Uh, and he works pretty quickly, too, so highly recommend him. Yeah. Cool. All right, man. Thanks for doing the interview. Oh, brother. See you on number two. Oh, oh, two, three, four. Yep. Definitely. <laughs>